Hey there, it's Sam with Tennis Express. I'm here with Alex. We just got off the court with the Gen 4 Pure Strike 98s, the 18x20 and the 16x19 models. Alex, what were your initial takeaways of these frames? So my first thought was that it looks really nice. I really like the white with the bright orange contrast. Just a good looking racket, which to me is important. Um, actually hitting with it, I was pretty surprised. Um, it felt a little bit more comfortable, more pleasant to hit with than the older Pure Strikes, which I think is a big improvement and was a downfall for the last one for a lot of people. Between 16 by 19 and 18 by 20, I would say I favor the 16 by 19. It just felt a little more lively to me. So Alex, you play pretty big topspin on the forehand, a little bit flatter on the backhand side. The 16 by 19, did you just feel like you could dig into the ball a little bit more? Yeah, I think with the 16 by 19, it allowed for harder shots to land a lot deeper and really drop into the court. With the 18 by 20, I did have to try to adjust as best as I could to account for you know the more closed string pattern with less spin. So shots were coming out a little more flat with that one. So a lot of the talk about the third gen pure strikes, um, a lot of folks said, hey, this is one of the most powerful control rackets on the market. Do you feel like that is still the trend with Gen 4? I think so, personally, comparing it to a lot of the other control type rackets that we hit with. I definitely noticed my balls going long when I didn't want them to. Uh, but yeah, compared to you know other stuff, it's definitely a more powerful control racket. So who would you recommend um, the 98 16 by 19 to? Who's that ideal candidate for that racket? I think that if you're using a tweener racket, like you know, pure drive, pure arrow, but you're advancing, you want a little more control without losing all your power like you would on some other control style rackets, then pure strike would be a good one because you're still gonna have pretty good power for this style, but the added control of the thinner beam, more flexible and smaller head. What about the 18 by 20? Same question. 18 by 20, I think that one, you do have to be a lot more dialed in to use it. I personally wouldn't recommend it to someone who relies heavily on topspin, but if you're a big flat hitter and you want control, that's a good one to go with. Alex, thanks so much for your thoughts on the two uh, Gen 4 Strike 98s. Absolutely. We're gonna use you for the rest of the lineup, so excited to hear your thoughts on those as well. Appreciate the time. Yes, sir. And now a quick break for specs. So I'm here with Rodrigo, one of the best tennis players at Tennis Express. We just got off the playtest court with the Pure Strike Gen 4, the 98 square inch head versions. Uh, we're talking about two rackets, it's the 16 by 19 and the 1820. Uh, so what were your thoughts uh, playing with the Strike Gen 4s uh, coming off the court? Yeah, I definitely had a, had a great time playing uh, with this new racket today. I felt very comfortable, very good racket for control, very, very spin friendly, I would say, especially the 16 by 19. Uh, I would say it has a great feel, a little bit softer than the previous version, but yeah, I had a lot of fun today. So both rackets have that 98 square inch version, so a little smaller heads than, you know, traditionally like the Pure Drive or the Pure Arrow, you know, they're more that 100 square inch head. Who would you say is the Strike uh, designed for? Like who can it work the best with? I would say the Pure Strike, it's, especially the 98, will go a little bit more for uh, intermediate to advanced players that are looking to get a little bit more control on their game. Uh, the sweet spot, it's a little bit smaller than a 100 square inch, but uh, honestly, this racket feel, feel, felt great. Uh, yeah, so far. So you mentioned uh, before the play test that you had hit with uh, a couple of the previous generation pure strikes. How does this one stack up? Do you see it like more of the same or is there a big change for you uh, with Gen 4? I think I would say uh, the biggest change on this racket is the feel and this, it's a little bit softer than the previous version. I would say it's a little bit more comfortable, uh, a little bit easier to play, easier on your arm too, very soft. It's always nice to hear, easier on the arm is A-OK -okay with me. Um, for you, uh, big heavy topspin forehand, pretty flat backhand, you like to come forward a lot. Which string pattern was, was your favorite of the two? I would say, surprisingly, it was the 18 by 20. 
but um, I'm, I'm always used to play with the 16 by 19, right. a lot of spin. But uh, on the 18 by 20, I, I felt that I, had, I still got a lot of good spin. I'll echo you there. For, for whatever reason, it felt like the 1820, even with the smaller 98 head size, it still felt pretty easy to create spin with. So I think it's fair to say that the Pure Strike series is, is a control segment racket, but probably more on the powerful side of most control rackets. Would you agree with that? Yes, I would definitely agree with this. During the play test, I was able to feel this a little bit more. Uh, compared to the previous version, I would say this, this version has a little bit more power. Uh, it's a little bit more comfortable, uh, especially on my, on my ground strokes, on my forehand and serve. It was, it was great. I felt really great. Awesome. Rodrigo, thank you so much for joining us on this play test, and we really want you to come back. We'll be able to use you again, okay? Awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Thanks for checking out our Tennis Express racket review on the Gen 4 Pure Strike 98s. Make sure to go to TennisExpress.com to take advantage of our demo program to help you find the best racket for your game.